business you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one-click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full-length CD listening parties. Download it for free at winamp.com slash android. Video bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Weekly Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1364, recorded May 12th, 2012. The Weekly Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. And now, get ready for Dick. It's time for the weekly Daily Gizwiz. Dick, I have a brand new theme. Are you ready? Are yes. You excited? Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Maddest Writer, ladies and gentlemen, and the new Gizwiz theme. Yeah. It's the Gizwiz. Gadgets. Gadgets Gizwiz. everywhere. Yeah. Maybe that's not the best theme ever. It's not quite as uplifting as I would have hoped. <laughs> anyway, it's part of my Turn the Table Turkey, so stay tuned Ooh. for that. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Weekly Daily Gizwiz, the show in which Dick and I bring out our finest gadgets to display for your listening and viewing entertainment. Have wow. you had... We, it has been summertime here in the city, in Petaluma. Uh, like eighty or ninety degrees every day last week. How, how has it been in New York? Are you uh, well, today is eighty. It's yeah. been slowly winding yeah. up, but today today's a beauty. We had, I love early summer. I gotta say, before it gets sweltering hot, you know. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, tomorrow's Mother's Day, so we should say hi to moms. Is your mom still with us? Uh, no, because we buried her. Oh. I hope you did. Yeah. <laughs> that would. She was dead when you buried her. I hope. I. I would hope we did that economy thing, two in a box. I, sometimes I have. That's, sometimes I'm I have sorry. Regret. I'm <laughs> sorry. That's mean. That's me. My yeah. mom is still around. In fact, she listens to the show. She's a big fan of. She loves Dickie D. Oh, uh, she's great. She is great. I something I have noticed that little old ladies really go for you, Dick. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> Oh, that dick. He's such a nice boy. Oh, funny. Oh, he's so funny. I love his <laughs> uh, Mom does not talk like that. <laughs> Every yeah. time no, I do she that does, voice. Your mom is very funny. Oh, yeah. She's smart. Bad. She's literate. Yeah. She's not. And still uh, trying to get her own podcast, by the oh, way. Oh, and yeah, she wants to do a cooking show. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, have you seen uh, Avengers yet? No. Did you see it? Yeah, I'm going to do the takeoff from bed. It's pretty good. It, it's I think it starts out really slow, but uh, once it gets going, it is really good. It's kind of like really a railroad good. train. Yeah, ex yeah. exactly. Or the, like the weekly daily gives with. Yeah, no, we don't ever get going. This is always slow. No, that's slow. true. It's, it's true. It's just sort of chug, chug, chug until I say goodbye and then it's over. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said it's over, and I no, was just no, no. I said it just. I just went chug, home chug, and cried. I, no, no, uh, but I'm back now. So yeah, okay, good. I, <laughs> I know you have to run out and get your salad during every break. <laughs> hey, when you're on a leafy green vegetable diet, you got to eat as much as possible. I'm happy though because we had a visitor from Matusan. Uh, Beth, you yeah. saw her earlier. She had to leave. Yes, she had yes, a flight to catch. Hi, but she Beth. brought me something that I think maybe the next turn the table turkey. It's jalapeno chocolate from Tucson. That Ooh, sounds dangerous, that, that, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, that could work. Sweet and hot. Sweet and hot, yeah. You know, yeah. maybe I'll give this to uh, to Henry. Henry's um, got it. It's prom night tonight. He's going to the prom. And maybe oh, Henry, great. Yeah. I didn't think they had proms for grandma school. <laughs> The third grade prom is huge. Let me tell you. No, he's a junior in high school. This is I would say it's a junior prom, but he goes to a, such a small school, there's only 48 juniors, it really wouldn't be much of a prom. So they just do the whole school, uh, the you know, everybody in the school. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. The, oh okay. Yeah. 
So, uh, the, yeah, he li- you know, this is kind of cute because uh, his date for the prom is, is a girl he's known since he was a baby. And uh, they've been planning this for years. Wow. So, he said, someday I want to be a Georgia and I want to go to the prom with me. And yeah, uh, he so, still talks like that, though. That's a great yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you going to do Mother's Day gadgets this uh, this no, week? No, no. Actually, I'm going to finish. Uh, I'm going to do uh, some more hardware stuff. Okay. Uh, but, From the uh, hardware them, show. Uh, the hardware show. One of them could be a Mother's Day gadget. Um, every year, the first I'm going to do two gadgets from a company. See if you remember the name Swiss Tech. Swiss Tech. Oh yeah, what weren't they kind of a low end uh, something or other? <laughs> In a way, yeah. Swiss Tech. The Swiss Tech. You know makes, what I'm saying? It, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. Swiss Tech uh, makes yeah uh, inexpensively priced gadgets that you can put on keychains. Inexpensively. Okay? Price. Not these aren't the same people who do the Swiss Army knife. No, 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 no. No, they they do things that the Swiss Army knife does. Wishes but they it do could. It, it, it's in a more economical way. Okay. All right, I'll just oh, we'll start out with an example. Okay, right, yep. so one of the things they introduced at the Hardware Show was the X Drive Micro Ratchet Tool. Oh, so this is so, this is not this is stuff that's still around. Well, this is every year they add new. They they take out gadgets that don't sell well after a number of years and they replace them with gadgets that they're just introducing. <laughs> that so at the in sh- other words, these are gadgets that won't swell, sell well next year. Is that <laughs> what you're saying? We, we, don't. Yeah, we don't know because they are just bringing them out. So what you do with this tool Ooh, is... Oh, that's cool. Instead, of, instead oh. of having all the little guys that you pull out away, so there's a little slide-out tray. So you have your Phillips and you have your uh, slot and you have uh, Allen uh, drivers. And then at the tip, it's magnetic. So you put them in there, the magnet holds them in. And it's a, actually a little ratchet wrench and it's a reversible ratchet Is wrench. Is it small enough to go on a keychain? You know what, Leo? It it comes with a clip for your keychain. <laughs> you but really unless you want muscles. your pants down around your shoes most of the day... You probably don't want to do this. It actually weighs, it, it's under two ounces, but if you wore everything that they made for keychains on your keychain, um, your pants would fall down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. This is the so X Drive the- Micro Ratchet Tool 7 in 1. It does have a keychain loop. Um, it does. You, you, it's got a, a magnetic hole, and then inside the handle there, there's all the different, there's a flat, a Phillips, an Allen, a couple of Allen wrenches, a socket right. driver. There's what? A, Wait, there's, there's more. more. There are two LEDs at the tip, oh. so there's also an LED flashlight. But if oh. you put one of the little tools in there, it's held in magnetically, and the light is shining exactly where you need to wow. do your work. This or you can good. just use it as a flashlight. Do you think you could get through uh, airport security with this? You know what? I think you probably could. Unless they feel that an Allen wrench is dangerous in some... Well, you could just take the radar machine, the x-ray machine apart with it and (laughs) and just disable it. Twelve bucks. I like um, this. And on Amazon, it's it's about nine bucks something. So so that's... Now I'm going to do a second thing from Swiss Tech. Now, I will bring up a gadget, which I think you might remember. All right. From Zelco called Purse Guard. (laughs) <laughs> yes, I <laughs> yes. I do remember the, the Who can ever remember the, purse guard? The famous purse guard incident the, we're now calling okay. it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yes, it's the purse guard incident. Yes. So now this is not from Zelco. We should mention from... the purse guard it was a hook that you would put on a table while you're dining. <laughs> I'm sorry, I put it on yeah, the he table. Still and... He still laughs. Yes, I think I thought this was a good idea. You put it on I'm the not... table while dining and you hook your purse onto it. And then, if somebody happens to steal the purse, the alarm goes off. Yeah. You know, people are chatting. You, everybody's gabbing. Someone at the table next to you just lifts your pocketbook to take it. An alarm goes off. Let, me ask, that was good. let me ask a person who uses a purse. Okay. Marie Kovar is here from Rockville, Illinois. Would you, okay. would you use a alarmed hook? To, when you, no. She didn't, I didn't even have to finish the sentence. She says no. Okay. Okay. No. All right. Well, now let's see if she She's an actual this. purse user. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Is she interested in the second new gadget from Swiss Tech okay. called 
bodyguard purse light. A bodyguard okay. purse, purse light. light. Okay, so this is designed to slip into a pocketbook. There's a little hook on the back. Yeah. And it's actually a flashlight, three LEDs that yeah. shines down. Okay, that's a good start, yeah. So yeah. it can light the contents of the pocketbook. Okay. But, as usual, there's more... If you need to attract attention to yourself because you feel threatened, you push another button on the side of Purse Guard and the built-in alarm, which is up to 130 decibels, then goes off. You can also, since there's a clip on the back, doesn't have to go in the purse. If you're walking at night, you can clip this on to the pocketbook uh, strap. You could put this on your belt since it's aiming down and use it just as a flashlight. Now, would you please ask the studio member if she wants this or what's behind door number three? Door number three. She's picking. <laughs> <laughs> she went like this. I think she was going like this. It could have been there was another finger involved, but uh, I think she was holding up three fingers. It looked like three. three. Okay. So Marie okay. Kovar well, says I'll, I'll, door number three. Not, not the uh, the uh, what is this? The bodyguard. Oh, okay, this is bodyguard purse light. Let me let me show All it right. on the uh, Swiss Tech site. Okay, there uh, you Swiss go. SwissTechTools.com. Right. It's a. Uh, it's only eleven ninety nine. Now, how much okay, would you pay? I, I, on Amazon, I think it's under ten bucks. Pa it comes in pink. It comes in. Does many that help, pink. Marie? No. Eh. Okay. All right. So now we have what's behind. It door also comes in three. brown, apparently. I don't, I'm not sure why you would want it in brown. All right, so she's still selecting door number three, Dick. Okay, door number three is the small fry mini <laughs> fry pan. What is this? Okay. The craptastic uh, gadget show? What is this? No, this is Myra just, you know, Myra comes every week. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a frying like, oh, pan, nonstick. Dick, I went to Bed Bath and Beyond. You can't believe what I bought. It's yeah. so wonderful. Yeah. Okay. I it's see. It's just amazing. It's a and it satisfies yeah. all my cooking needs. I'm so glad you added the word just cooking. A lonely person. What? Okay. <laughs> so it's a it's this? a nonstick frying pan for which it's about the size of one egg. Yes, that is ex exactly the size of one egg. And it and has a said, strange handle. What is the handle? Yeah. The, it has a cutie pie little handle. Oh, so the idea is this is a one egg pan. A one egg hey, mini I live pan. alone. I would not make one egg. No, I'm married to a two egg. Yeah, well, we're two egg guys. <laughs> so, Myra, you eat one egg, huh? What's one are egg? What? It's, not even, it's not even worth no, go the ahead, effort. Go ahead, Myra. Answer. Yes. Um, Leo, I eat one egg. <laughs> I'm on Weight Watchers. <laughs> Look at her. She's She weighs about 12 pounds. I know. If Myra turns sideways, you you cannot see her on the drop cam. Yeah, it is well, really she's amazing. Invisible. All right, <laughs> one egg. God, I would be depressed if I had one egg in the morning. Oh, okay. Be like, uh, oh my god, I got to cut it with a knife and fork. No, just take one bite. Just gonna slide that whole thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> she, Maria and I are in absolute agreement on this. She she doesn't want even what's behind door number three. Wait, wow. stay tuned. Turn the table, turkey. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. It's coming up. It, wait a minute. We have one more gadget, though, right? Well, wait a minute. Well, no, we, we have to do the video of the week. Okay. I'm going to go to okay. YouTube. And, and let me see if after the video of the week, she doesn't want this. And in which case, you'll actually have to evict it from the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. Uh, and is this is this uh, the come out of the uh, come shower? Out of the shower and, yeah, yes, and exactly. come out clean. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, gadget number three. Gadget number two, video two. of the week. Oh, well, it yeah. feels as if you've already given us three gadgets, so I just... I have, but the Swiss text was small, and I did two of them. Oh, you did two okay. Swiss texts. Here we yeah, go, ladies right. and gentlemen. Gadget number three. Two. Hey, Tixi, we're told on Man's Man is trying to end the Gizwiz. We're still at the hardware show. We're at the Jet Pro booth. Now, you know, I like to take showers. This is just absolutely amazing. Look at all these all these shower Wait heads, Donald. Does that shoot you in the gut? Six body jets, it shoots you in the jet, back. Which is a high massage performance jet. And then you've got a hand spray and an overhead rain shower. Okay, you know, now something like this is going to take days, hours to get that installed. You'll need to get a professional plumber. Is that true? Absolutely not. This particular spa is designed so it installs in 35 minutes. This All we're going to do is we're going to connect the behind self-plumbed 
hose, it's a water supply hose, to the shower head ho pipe on the wall that you already have and hang it on the wall and you're ready for use. You keep your existing valve on your shower so you don't have to change your hot and cold valve. It's real simple. Can you show us the back? Yeah, absolutely. This, okay, yeah, okay. So this is what I like about this. So all of this is built in and this is what you connect. Now you should have at least what, 30 pounds? 30 PSI is the normal operating, but most homes are uh, 40 to 50 PSI and many, much more than that. And the higher, of course, the better performance, but 30 PSI gives a great reward with your spa massage. Okay, you know what, uh, what I'm gonna do, uh, Don, is I'm gonna have Dennis pan down the line. Uh, and sure. so this one is about 450. It's, uh, yeah, 499 approximately. For This is a deluxe model here. This is very streamlined. Okay, very good. This one here is uh, running at 299. And then this one also 299, so you have stainless or black mirrored, very nice. And then this one here is a very popular item, and it's 279, all stainless steel. The next one here is a little more simple but very beautiful design, and that one's at 199. And these also are at 199, just different uh, presentation, a little bit different designs and materials, but very, very affordable. It's really a great way to enhance your shower and do it really economically. And uh, is it JetPro.com? JetProShowerSpas.com. Jetpro. JetProShowerSpas.com. We'd love to have you visit the site. And Dick Bartolo, the very clean Dick Bartolo, <laughs> here at the National Hardware Show 2012. Um, I don't want to get undressed, so I won't shower here. But we're going to walk around and see more stuff. <laughs> I actually think that that looks pretty cool. I think it's pretty, yeah. Ten especially nozzles. The, yeah, and especially the fact that you just connect it to your current shower nozzle. Yeah. The handles and everything that is already there stay, the, the water mixer and all that. And, and and by the way, that's low flow, right? I mean, no. Oh, yes, it is low. The, the thing 80 gallons actually, in a, a minute is coming out of that thing. In fact, many? you turn that thing on, and it's going to be a flood sideways... Because you've got, eight, what, eight nozzles pointing to the at you. Well, you know what? I don't know if they all go off at the same oh, time. Actually, oh, okay. I actually didn't uh, they couldn't do it. Because down. you would have you need so much water pressure. <laughs> well, it also, I think the people at the booth next door would also be quite annoyed. They might right, be, So now yeah. will you ask Marie? Actually, I'm is, not going to ask Marie. I'm going to ask Ken, her husband. Ken wants that. Ken oh, says okay. that's good. Marie says, okay. oh, as long as you install it, what the hell? <laughs> This is she, she, he could put it in his shower. They have his and her showers. Oh. Now that's nice. Does, Mar does Marie know that at Twit, once you've come to the studio, you can never come again? Does she know that policy? <laughs> we actually tattoo a little dot on their on the back of their hand. We check in the ultraviolet yeah, light. Yeah, that's good. That's we, good. Yeah. We don't. No, really... I think I think it's a uh, a really good idea. Uh, Jet Dash Pro shower. I like spawn. how easy it is to install, but I got to say, you would have to have. A considerable amount of uh, a water pressure, I think. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I looked on the web, and New York City is thirty-two to like ninety pounds because you know they have to shoot the pressure to the top of five-story right. buildings right. that don't have. So New York City water pressure it varies. Varies. It varies. Yeah. Now I yeah. think we do have actually uh, some video uh, of the shower in use. I just I uh, this I found this on YouTube. Maybe you want to. Oh, good. Okay. Let me see. Take, it let's take like. a look here. Yeah. He's turning it on. <laughs> it looks like he's getting. He's yeah, having a hard yeah, time staying uh, too close to that. Oh my goodness! He's 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 falling out of it. It's, it there's a lot of water pressure there. It's yeah, kind of like yeah. a maybe a hurricane uh, shower. Yeah, he should be doing it on his back. That's <laughs> those muscles. And there he goes, right over the edge. That little Seinfeld, uh, Kramer, and his uh, beautiful shower head. Very funny. Yeah, <laughs> it's in, it's. I like the rain shower, and I saw, I saw that the top I, thing was a rain shower. I do like that. I have a rain. I I don't have all those other uh, nozzles. I just have a, a rain shower, and yeah. they are really great. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. it a lot. All right, uh, let's take a break. Because in one yep. minute, that's only two gadgets. It feels like that's only, it feels like we've been here a week. I, I mean, it can be three. You want it to be three? No, no, go on. You got. I don't want to shortchange our fine audience. 
Oh, okay, okay. All right, the third gadget is another kind of light, which I like very much. Actually, you probably will like this, too. Okay. Uh, okay, it's called The Box Light, and they're at theboxlight.com. Mm -hmm. It's brand new, and basically what it is, it, it's a little guy, five LEDs in there, but there's a magnetic switch in there, and it's designed specifically for toolboxes, it's designed for hatches on boats. Anything that you open up that you want a light inside. So they sent me one. I put it on my boat hatch. And at night, it's really great. You raise the boat hatch. You don't need a flashlight or anything. The uh, box light instantly comes on. And to save battery life, it runs on three double A's, which, which are not included. There's a little light sensor. So if you open the hatch or whatever you're opening during the day, the light sensor tells it that you don't need light because there is daylight so the light doesn't come on but as soon as it gets dark and you open the hatch the light comes on um it's 20 bucks and it's a 180 degree beam with the five leds so uh in my uh down at the boat it really does like the hatch pretty much edge to edge um so you know if you need more light under a trunk lid under a car hood uh, anything that pops up and opens up, uh, you can get light, and it's uh, twenty bucks, nineteen ninety five. Everything that you love in life, magnets, yes. LEDs, <laughs> yes, it's all together in one yes. clever. Uh, yeah, what doesn't play music? If, if it played disco and had a mirrored ball, and it like were it on a T-shirt, then you'd be set. <laughs> yes. Wow, the box or a keychain. Or a keychain. Yeah. 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 The box and I think light. that what's nice about the we've seen these kind of sticky lights for a while. What's nice about this yeah. with LEDs, they last a lot longer than they used to. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And also uh, in the package are three screws so that uh, there's two other nice features. That's funny because uh, here in the studio audience, there are also three screws. So it's. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> exactly. One of them's loose. I got to say. I'm not going to say yeah. which one. I think all three of them will be. <laughs> A uh, uh, couple of things. Uh, the, the light is designed to slide out of the mounting bracket, so you can also use it as a flashlight if you, something fell into the bilge or, or you, you need to look elsewhere around your under the hood. So that slides out. You need to have slide it out, obviously, to replace the battery. But it also comes with uh, three, uh, three screws in case you want a more permanent mounting for the base instead of the the uh, double-sided tape that also comes with it. And if I, I don't, if I don't have funny. a bilge in my closet, can I still use it? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. Just, just, just checking. <laughs> Last time I checked, uh, there was no bilge. So let us uh, take a break. And uh, when we yes. come back, I am going to make a mess wow. of the studio. Mm. But first, a word from Netflix. You know, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got to send back the discs. I got, I'm a Netflix. You know me. I love Netflix. Oh, you love Netflix. So do I. I what are you to, kidding? I have to tell you anything. And I've had a Netflix. Uh, actually, <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed to admit, five disc subscription for ages. I have discs now under my TV. <laughs> the layer of dust is three inches thick because I don't watch them anymore because I've got Netflix streaming. I'm just going to cancel the disc and go. I probably Netflix doesn't want us to say this, but that's what I'm going to do because I, the truth is, everything I want is here on Netflix streaming. It's kind of the dream come true for cord cutters. Netflix.com slash twit. You could try it free for a month. It's only $7.99 a month. Whoops. I just launched Star Trek. Oh, we're going to go back here. The original, ep the original Star Trek season, one through three. And this is, by the way, if you're curious, the newly remastered Star Trek with the digital. Uh, they've done a lot of really amazing stuff with the digital um, re-imaging of, of uh, all of the CGI and stuff. It looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. And you know, one of the fun things is if you have a Star Trek episode that you love, uh, that you remember, you, you can watch any individual episode. You just start it right away. That's kind of cool, I've got to say. Oh, it's neat. Yeah. Yeah. You just say, oh, wait a minute. In season two... Remember the trouble with Tribbles? I really loved that. I haven't seen that in ages. Oh, oh, just press play. <laughs> and I'm watching it like now. That is what is so cool about Netflix streaming. Uh, you no longer need discs. You could just start watching Star Trek that fast. 
And it looks so much better. Oh, I'm sorry, Dick. Let's just can we stop the show for a couple of hours? Oh yeah, sure. Just let it run to the end. What's it two and a half hours? <laughs> let me see if I can find some tribbles in here. Anyway, it is so much fun. I am a, such a huge fan of Netflix, and I know you will be too. If you are already a Netflix member, you maybe you have forgot about streaming the Watch Instantly stuff. It's so great and new stuff all the time. And if you uh, are already a Netflix fan and already using streaming, tell your friends and family. Do us a favor. Tell them about uh, about the special URL. Netflix, N-E-T-F-L-I-X dot com slash twit. 30 days free of Netflix streaming. It's just great. See, every time I go through this, I go, oh, I got to remember oh, that. Oh, yeah. I got to remember. Oh, I, I have gotta... it on my Droid. I have it on my Asa pad. Oh, yeah, I have it down at the boat. It's yep. great. Xbox. PlayStation 3. Oh, look at this. Dark workplace TV shows. How did they know? Oh, that's us. <laughs> that's us. Remember, I said, let's call it the Weekly Daily Gizwiz, and you said, no, let's call it the Dark Place. This is so funny, and this is based on my taste preferences. It says, your taste preferences created this row, the workplace dark TV shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I thought uh, staff actually put that in there. <laughs> there somebody's, somebody's been watching movies on my account. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Uh, I've been playing with my uh, turn the table turkey all week, but I think I should give you the chance to do the intro and I will do the review. Mr. Dickie D, it's all yours. Take the helm. Okay. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Madness, right? And the Giz with, you know, one day a week, that's all the law actually allows. We let Leo Laporte do a gadget. And sometimes it's trash, sometimes it's a turkey, possibly a treasure, but let's find out on this week's Turn the Table Turkey! That jingle like it should be played. Wow. Been, <laughs> this is funny. This is what fun. Is that? This is the Korg Wave Drum Mini mm. Dynamic Percussion Synthesizer. And I have to thank you because the Korg folks. Yeah, now I'm sorry I said Yeah, no, you wish you had it. Him. You wish <laughs> yeah. you had it. Uh, I'm going to have to look up. Actually, chat room, if you'd look up the, the price, that'd be great for me. So, what it is, it's a pad uh, that's not too big, the size of a bongo uh, top or whatever. Um, with a rubberized pad that you can strike and then some controls on it. And inside, oh my gosh, this is every kid's dream. In fact, if you're a grandmother and you don't like your daughter-in-law, <laughs> you might want to send this to their kid because it'll dr no, drive them crazy. 100 ready-to-play presets, 10 effects. It also has a built-in loop that you can play along to. It has your loop recorder, so you can record loops, so you can multi-mix and play along with any pattern, wow. or record a rhythmic groove that you could then use elsewhere. Uh, it and is, for breakfast, it has fruit loops. <laughs> pretty much. How do you like that? I mean that's I don't that's effect nineteen. I know it sounds like someone under your desk in terrible pain. So if you hit different parts of the tablet, it does different stuff. I'm not really sure. I probably should read the manual, but you know me. Uh, I probably should read the manual, and it would explain that you know hitting different and also how hard you hit it. So, Leo, does it have an output so you can record? Yeah, it has its built-in speaker, as you can see on the top there. But I've also got it. Uh, it's got a little output jack. In fact, it has several jacks. It has a, 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 a phono head jack for output. It's got a, a small micro, you know, mini jack for your headphones. Uh, and if it, it takes battery. So, in fact, comes with a, ca a, a little, a little uh, carrying strap. So you can actually put this around your uh, your shoulder. <laughs> And carry Just it down the time for the prom. I can I can march to the prom. So it's just I mean I'm going through these. It's so much fun. 
And so all these effects, basically these are all samples and, and, and effects. How do you like that? Nice. Oh, yeah, the sound is really good. It's Cork. Cork makes great synthesizers. It's a little pricey. Yeah, the chat room saying it's two ninety nine on Amazon. Yeah, five hundred list, two ninety nine. But you know what? I think it's worth it. I really do because it's so much fun to play with. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting sound. So, are you going to let Henry see this at all? <laughs> yeah, I'll never see it again if I don't. Now, yes, if you have an iPad, you could probably do something similar, but you won't get the nice rubberized thing. And go ahead and try slapping your iPad like that, huh? Hey, you're pretty good. PC guy says I'm I'm not using it properly. I have no idea how to use it. But I'm going to keep using it. You're getting better by the minute. <laughs> Code Monkey says, I'm already bored with it, and I didn't even buy it. <laughs> it's cheaper than a drum kit. And more fun. But you can only use... Yeah, you know what? You're probably supposed to use sticks. I would guess you're right. <laughs> Somebody's pointing out that it's not really meant for hitting with your hand. This is a, this is a pad, the kind of pad that... Drummers use as practice pads, you know, big heavy rubber pads. So, yeah, of course it's intended. Yeah, give me some uh, chopsticks. Let's see how that works. <laughs> oh, now, you, now you're getting really professional here. Chopsticks never sounded quite so good. This is good. I like it. You need probably something a little heavy, heavier. So they say there's a clap mode. You know, I have no idea. Let me press. Oh, that's the echo. Oh, it's got some. That's like a phasing mode. What's clap mode? Like applause? Now, can a plastic bucket do that? <laughs> I'm taking this to my drum group. So let's uh, let's try it without the uh, headphone jack and just see. Oh, sorry. Did you did that hurt your ears? <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, did you say? Uh, <laughs> Marie's never coming back. Bye. Great knowing you. Good luck in life. All right. You see, it's not super loud, but enough to annoy the neighbors. Do not give this to small children. Right, and unless you give them headphones with it. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, the headphones are certainly a... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Marie, did that hurt your ears? Poor Marie's never coming back, but that was my mission, wasn't it, Dick? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good job. That is the Korg Wave Drum Mini. And apparently you can do a lot more with it. But I think this is enough for me because I'm easily amused. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I think so. Yeah. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. What? Does it have USB out? No, what do you want? What do you want no, for 400 bucks? Look at your computer. Uh, no, it doesn't seem to have MIDI, USB, or any of those fancy things. It's really, oh. a, it's kind of a standalone device. It does have a power cord, but it also is battery powered. Uh, okay. Let me, let me look it up and make sure we've got the price right. I'd hate to misrepresent this. It's the Korg Wave Drum Mini. Wave Drum. Now, they may have a Wave Drum Maxi, and that might, that might be what's confusing them over price. So let me just... Nope, two ninety nine. That's the right price. Okay. Korg. Oh, I I left out the most important part. Yes. The clip. Does what? Well, here's the deal. You clip this thing onto any surface, and it turns that surface into a drum. 
So let's clip it to this jalapeno chocolate bar. <laughs> now watch. When I tap the chocolate bar, it's a drum. All right, now do you like it? Let's try another effect. It's magic. I can clip this to anything. I'll clip it to my head. No, it doesn't work. Maybe my eyeglasses? Oh, no, that's, yeah. This is this is the entertainment for tonight. <laughs> my, here, let's clip it to this monkey. <laughs> and then what, shoot it? <laughs> All right, I am now clipping it to a monkey. Pretty good. Yeah. Just think. I can't wait to get this home and click it. Clip it to other things. I think this is cool. So now how much would you pay? Uh two ninety nine. <laughs> good. That's exactly what it costs. Let's play a little video demo. From Audio Fanzine, maybe they, because they are musicians, can figure oh, okay. out how to make this better. This is probably in German. But that's... But... Okay, hello, my name is Daniel. I'm working for Cork, Germany. Yeah? And I'm right now I'm here on the music messe in Frankfurt, Germany, 2011. I'm going to the prom going to with this. The new, brand new Cork Wave Drum Mini. You see, here, see, he's going to be a professional musician. Yes. So he's going to do something so much better. And this special clip. I'm going to come back to it later. First of all, we got 100 preset sounds in here. <laughs> and we got 100 preset loops. You can jam along. Web1187 says he can't wait till I take it home either. All right. Well, y'all leave that video for you. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. And it's, that's, I'm still only up to effect 56. <laughs> so uh, there you go. The, uh, the core, I like this. I'm sorry, but of course I didn't yeah, pay 2 dollars yeah, no, for it. But yeah. the Wave Drum Mini, uh, it's for, you know, I don't think that this is going to really, uh, be useful in a professional music setup, but certainly a lot of fun uh, playing with it. Uh, and now we're going to put that toy away. You want to hear the professional? I can jam along or can record it also. So much better than me. So you got See, he's recorded it. So that's cool. And then you could output the uh, analog audio to record it. And the great thing about this, you can create your own loops. So this is good because he's he knows what he's doing with this thing. Okay. You yeah. see the, both lights are flashing. That means the waveform is waiting for me to start playing. Okay, let's first start. It's not, I have to say the, the UI is not super I'm intuitive. Play the So he's got a loop set, and now yeah. he can play along to the loop. So he's playing along to the existing loop. Second layer. So let's switch to the clip again. And let's say... I guess you could do multiple layers. Let's take a single. I think it's a lot of fun. Press I think again. so, yeah. yeah. You can overdub. You just have to, you know, there's just a slight learning curve. Yeah, and I yeah. apparently not smart enough to actually learn how to use this. No, I think for the 20 seconds that you put into it, <laughs> you I literally opened the box halfway into the show, ladies and gentlemen. Right. If you are, if you ever wanted to be Harold Faltermeyer, that's your chance. Ladies and gentlemen. This is soon to be going. In fact, as long as you're on the way to Dick's Gadget Warehouse, will you just take this with you? 
Uh, we are going to stroll down Broadway right now, enjoy the beautiful smells and sights and sounds of the falafel truck on 58 and 2nd. We're going to we're going to, to to pause momentarily and watch as the police take some sort of action in the subway on 43rd Street. Then travel along up into Uptown where the nice people live and uh look that that bum is well dressed. He's sitting right in front of Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Apparently a German in here. I don't... They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, uh-huh. he takes them out to play. Uh-huh. In this gadget warehouse. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Dickie D. Leo, how you doing, pal? That's how I'm doing. Uh- Wow. Whoa. <laughs> a musical answer. And I didn't even ask a musical question. Dick, do you have... <laughs> yes, I'm we're sorry. Talk about I something. like this. I'm sorry. I'm not giving oh, no, it I to you. It, no, I think it, it really can be a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, it can. Yeah, it yeah. could be for somebody else. Yeah. No, I, I look back through past hardware gadgets to see what would be fun to do for this week's gadget warehouse now years ago six years ago to be exact we talked about possibly one of the weirdest gadgets ever and i'm sure when i say the name you'll remember what it was and it was the cruising cooler remember that yes i saw you racing it yes the cruising (laughs) cooler six years ago at the hardware show has it been that long come on it is no, it is six years ago. They saw it. The first time I saw it was the National Hardware Show in 2006. Oh, wow. wow. They were not there this year. Oh, no. So I thought, Maybe Wait they a cruised minute. into history. <laughs> is it time to put them in Dick's Gadget Warehouse? So I went to their website. Amazingly, Leo, they are now making racing models. <laughs> Why are you amazed? Why are you amazed? <laughs> they, yes, exactly. They are making cruising. Co- well, well, first of all, let me <clears throat> let me just explain what it is. You know, so, Henry wants a punk bike, but maybe I'll get him a cruising cooler. Get it, instead. Get it in this, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the guy who invented it, uh, I I may have, the, if I remember the story correctly, he went to a ball game and he could park miles from the stadium, and he's dragging the cooler and he's watching all these guys with big coolers on their shoulders, and he goes. Why don't they have motorized coolers? And then he thought, I know, I'll build a cooler <laughs> you can sit on of and drive and put a motor in it. Brilliant. Yeah. So he did that. <clears throat> he makes gas models, electric models, but now the motor and the battery take up space. Uh, you want more space? So he started adding on <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> little couplers so you could tow more coolers. <laughs> oh, it's a cooler train. It's a cooler train. And then they started building bigger and bigger engines so you could pull more and more coolers. <laughs> but I know, it's just bizarre. But, Leo, the one thing that has not changed yes. and I wanted to check out yes. is that if you go to their website, you can read about everything. All the models are there. Yeah. But if you click on buy one, yeah, yes, before anything else happens, yeah. this comes up. Warning, read this important information. Oh, no. Cruising coolers are motorized and are inherently dangerous. Oh, no. A passenger or a driver may suffer serious injury or death while operating this vehicle. And then it goes on. You must wear approved uh, protective gear. Only one passenger weighing less than 200 pounds. It's really very funny. They're three-wheel design, so they're even more unstable than a four-wheel design. But then after you you have to read the whole thing and click I it agree. It says, wait a minute. These coolers primarily use a single braking system, and at some point in time, this system may fail. The oh, yeah. operator should use their feet to stop the vehicle if this occurs. <laughs> yes. These coolers are designed to be used on a flat level paved surface. Oh. Grades may make the cooler run at excessive speeds down the hill. All right, I'm going to accept this. I'm going to say, yes, I understand. And now I can buy one. 
You can buy one as They're low as... They're a little as, pricey. Uh, well, they start uh, they're doing closeouts at 350 bucks, oh, but you're looking that. at the high end The ones. top of the line is 1399 Yes, I think that's one of the racing models. <laughs> and then they have a 1,000-watt motor electric model. I think that's... Wait a minute. This uh, says professional drivers only. Who's a I, professional cooler driver? <laughs> exactly. What the hell exactly. are they talking about? I have no idea. Mm. But, I mean, when you think of a bizarre idea going on year six, either this man is very wealthy and losing his shirt or her. I think there's made- a whole subculture. Yeah, Here, I probably. Here's one that they did on Ellen, designed oh, okay. just for Ellen to drive. Yeah, well, man, there gotta, you go. I got to find that. Ellen, there, Ellen there, Show there. Cruising Cooler. Yeah, uh, there you go. I got I to gotta find that one. Yeah. Now, somewhere in one of the videos, they mentioned they sold 45000 Yeah, see, them. they're doing all right. Yeah. yeah. But is 45000 enough to keep a corporation going for six years or a company? I don't know. I guess there's a lot of problems. Well, at, th- at 1600 yeah. bucks each, sure. Here's Ellen DeGeneres riding. Okay, get ready. She's going to actually... She's coming out on her specially... Wow, actually, they go pretty fast. Yeah, the original one went 13 miles an hour, but maybe that's fast. Yeah, it looks like it's got vents on the side for cooling the cooler. Vents, and uh, it has a little stabilizer, so if you start to fall over, it can help. You know how you want to be on a scooter, but you need your cooler? (laughs) (laughs) It's a cooler, you know, I keep my pudding in it. That's what (laughs) Yeah, wow. That's what I like to keep it it's, look at the size thing. of the cooler. It's not very uh, big. It's, ta- it's all batteries these days. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think he just found something. That's what I think. I think this guy has hit upon something and now... A, a real niche market. It's a niche. Yeah, I guess. I think 45000 is quite a few. Well, over six years. Yeah, no, it is. I guess it really it is. It ain't bad. I'd, I'd take that. Yeah. Anyway, so we cannot induct... The cruising cooler not into yet. Dick's gadget warehouse. No, not but yet. it is riding off into the sunset at about fourteen miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, apparently, she's gone outside now in the cruising cooler and is driving, driving through the lobby of the Ellen Show. <laughs> yeah, I think the range uh, was. Let me see. The cruising cooler, the electric uh, model, can go up to ten miles on a charge. I, I could get to work and back. And you can go up to 30 miles on the gas model. So how wow. far is it to San Francisco, Lee? Oh, you're not, you can't uh, quite make I couldn't it. make it to San Francisco. I don't, think no. the, I don't think you can ride coolers on the freeway yet anyway. They're oh, so yeah, old-fashioned. Oh, you've put the Twit logo on that. You get a lot of publicity. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think this would be a good time to play the letters jingle and get us out of here. What do you say? Okay, it sounds good to me, pal. All Do it. All righty. Whoa. I am out of breath. Hey, you know, somebody was saying this might be good for headbangers. Oh. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Is there <laughs> anything you won't try? <laughs> apparently not. No. They didn't tell me, bang not. your head on the desk, no problem. Yeah. You know, headbangers while they're eating fire. Now, that would be something Whoa. I'd like to see. I could just hit anything. Everything's a drum now. Everything is a drum. Everything is a drum. Let's see. Does it work on the iPhone? Nice. <sighs> what is I your letter? I think get out of the room. Yeah, really. <laughs> Letters time. Letters time. Uh, this is from Dusan, D-U-S-A-N, Malectic, M-A-L-E-T-I-C, oh, I know Babylon. <clears throat> you do? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, that's good because this is not exactly a letter, Leo. This is a test Uh-oh. I am to give you. Uh-oh. Okay? All right. Okay. Can I answer with drum beats? <clears throat> you can. Okay. okay. All right. 
All right. So Dusan writes, it's in regard to the show we did yes. on, in Dick's Gadget Warehouse talking okay. about Commodore 64. Okay. And he says... Ask the all-knowing techie Leo the following questions. Okay. The first computer with windowing, with a windowing OS. What was the first personal computer with windowing OS? Calculating. It was the Amiga. No, maybe the Atari. Could have been the Atari. No, wait a minute. With these, these all pertain to the same thing, so I'll give you more hints. It was the first computer with an OS capable of true multitasking. And the Xerox is... Star. Here's your third question. I need a better drum machine. Okay. It had it was the first computer with built in networking capability. The Fortune 3000. No, oh, this one might help or may not. It was the first computer with the Motorola oh, 60. This guy is going to say the Commodore 64, isn't he? No. Oh, good. The, it was had the right. Motorola 6800? Yeah. <clears throat> it must be the All Lisa. Right. No, it says enough torture for Leo. But one more thing. The computer cost one quarter of the price of the Mac. But it was released six months earlier. I hope you're not disappointed because I don't know this machine. It was the Sinclair oh, yeah. Yeah. QL. It was. It's from Timex. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. I do remember. It was a sure little you do. great. Yeah. Yes. It was originally a British uh, uh, kit. Timex, I think, yes, bought it and brought right. it to you the only, U.S. You had to build it. And yeah. then when it came yeah. to the States, you could, yes. Yeah. You know what? I think I have one of these. I bet you have one. I bet. He, and I think said, in uh, many cases, what he's talking about, if you looked at it, you'd say, well, it's multi Well. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, kind of. Um, yeah, I, I don't think these things had a whole lot of memory in them. It was their quantum leap was the QL uh, stood for. Oh, that was. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's see. I've got. And, the, and then he he answers. But he ends by saying, "Why does everyone remember the Mac and the Commodore, and not the QL? Because it was a because crappy computer." I was just going to say the quality <laughs> was proportional to the price. It had 128 not, but, kilobytes of RAM. I can't imagine it, it was doing much multitasking. It didn't have a disk disk drive. It had uh, a micro drive tape loop cartridge. Oh. And wasn't it just like a hundred bucks or something? Yeah, it was or? pretty cheap. Yeah, it did have a QDOS on it, which was multitasking. Oh, um, so yeah, Q. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I kind of remember okay. QDOS. Okay, so Dusan, yeah. he didn't get it, but there is no prize. Yeah, because I Marie didn't. Took I didn't get it. I didn't get it. The uh, Sinclair QL. What happens is people get uh, a bizarrely attached to their first computer, right? Yeah, and so I married yeah. mine. Yeah, I know. And I mean, when they to finally talk to they made that. it legal to marry computers, I'm going to marry this City. drum machine. Is what I'm going <laughs> to. Well, you know, what, take it on it. Why don't you take? I'll take it on a cruise take, first. Take it on a date. Yeah, see if we like each other. I think it's pretty good. You know, if the if the orchestra doesn't show up or the band doesn't show up <laughs> at the prom, you could hear. And them. now, <laughs> to perform for us, Henry's dad on the drum machine. Yeah, yeah, he'll be so. so proud oh, of you. Oh, he'll be proud. Let me tell yeah, you, he will be that proud. Hat with the flaps, <laughs> it'll just be a picture I'll want to have. <laughs> Dick, uh, we have come to the end of this program. It is prom night, and I've got a, a little performance to do, so I'm going to go get my tux. Uh, <laughs> okay, don't forget, play the what the heck is it. Oh, yeah, uh, gizwiz.biz, G-I-Z, W-I-Z dot B-I-Z. We did find out uh, that the uh, spaghetti sizer he showed last week was, in fact, not a spaghetti no, sizer. No, it bizarrely was an iPad holder. It was a hand, it was a rubber handle. It goes now that it is a just, rubber handle. You that need. just shows how hard this uh, silly game is. Uh let's go right now to gizwiz.biz and see the picture of the month for the May June what the heck is it? It yeah. there it is. It's uh 
clearly a drum machine. Yeah. Oh, oh don't give such great hints. <laughs> Uh, anyway, if you get it right, uh, you, you could be one of 12 people who win an autographed copy of Mad Magazine. Get it wrong, you could get 24 Mad Magazines. That's a good deal. Yeah. One per purse. Did you win Did you win this? Uh, no, you, I was going to say, because uh, they have an autographed copy of Mad Magazine, our guests. But uh, apparently, oh, okay. Marie and Ken, but apparently... Uh, oh, is Marie still there? Yeah, she didn't leave. <laughs> I'm going to clip this drum machine on her. Then we'll know when she gets up. Yeah, that's good. She'll never get near the studio without everybody knowing. I think if you could, if you were a talented musician yes. <laughs> you, and, uh, and had rhythm, you could probably do something with this. Yeah, I think you could. I think you could. I bet you Henry can do something with that. I'm going to go on the subway. See if I can make some money. Oh, you, you know what? I would give you a buck just to get off at the next stop. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am not a beggar. I am a musical performer. And I have gotten on your subway train to perform and entertain you. However, in this plastic bucket, you could put money. And if I raise $100, I will leave the train. You take a check, sir. <laughs> I think that would win me some fans. I think it will. Dick, we're out of time, but I'm not out of beats. No, no, no. What's... Yeah. I didn't realize this also is a little drum, it, too. It now, is. how much would you pay for the purse bodyguard? She likes the purse bodyguard a best of all. Oh, okay. The, he, oh, she likes the magnetic light. For the inside of her bilge. Oh, now. Yes. Now that we're throwing her yes. out. Yes, now she comes around. Back. Here, now she have some jalapeno chocolate and get the hell out of here. All right. <laughs> hey, Dick, thanks for joining us. We do this show every Saturday right after the Tech Guy, around about 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern time. That would be 2300 UTC late at night, I know, for all of you uh, international listeners, but well worth staying up for. But, you know, if you if you miss the show by accident, you sleep through it. Or you sleep during the middle of it, which seems to happen quite a bit. I don't know yeah, why. Or you sleep when it starts. <laughs> you can always get a recorded edition available anywhere. Finer podcasts are offered, including twit.tv. Dick, I hope you have some fun this week in the beautiful weather in uh, Manhattan. I will. And I'll, I'll see you boating uh, tomorrow. You'll be boating. Yeah. Boating tomorrow. Awesome. I'll see you next week on the Daily Gizwiz. I'll be here. Every day we get to this, a weekly gift.